Well, getting our home organized and clean does not have to be complicated, even though it seems like it always is. Jill Cordes is rolling up her sleeves to show us some easy tips to get our house in gear. Hi, I'm Jill Cordes. It's time for another house call. That's when I go door to door helping messy families clean up their act. Today I'm at the Rogers home and it looks really nice, but let's see what's lurking behind the door. Hello, Megan. Hi, How are Jill. you? I'm Come wonderful. on out. How are you? You are clearly pregnant, Thank right? You. <gasps> clearly, no hiding it now. And your house is for sale. Yes. And you have a one-year-old. <laughs> and apparently your house is suffering a little bit from that. It's at the bottom of my priority list. Oh. Very overwhelming. All right, let's take a look at your problem areas. Great. All right. So tell us what's happened here. It's a mess. The fridge is a money pit. Oh boy, that's a big fridge with a lot of stuff in it. It's just disorganized chaos in there. We're gonna take everything off of this shelf right here and start with getting rid of the clutter. All right, rule number one, Arm & Hammer baking soda. This little box is going to do a lot of things. It's gonna clean your shelf because it has a slightly abrasive quality, so it'll get rid of the food gunk on there. So you're gonna leave this box in your fridge afterwards for 30 days to absorb the food odors. All right. All right, we're making progress. All right, now we're in the baby's bathroom. So with the baby, obviously you spend a lot of time in the bathtub, she's playing with her toys. There's a lot of fun, but there's a little bit of a mess that goes along with it. Her toys get a film on them from the products that I use on her. Right. And then I get a ring around the tub. I just don't feel that it's as fresh and as mm -hmm. clean as it should be. So wow. without further ado, take a quart of water and mix in four tablespoons of baking soda, right? Okay. You can dip your baby toys in here. All right. And it'll help get rid of the film. And you can use this same solution of water to clean your tub, to clean your sink. And what's nice about baking soda, again, is it's non-toxic and it's very safe. I hate harsh fumes and I hate harsh chemicals. And I don't want any of that stuff around my daughter. I can relate to this part of your house as a new mom. I spend a lot of time doing laundry. It just piles up all week and then we dedicate our Saturdays yeah. to laundry day. Fun. You have big machines. Why are you doing five loads? Different detergents for my daughter. I use an extra fabric softener for my clothes that my husband doesn't use. It adds up not only time-wise but money-wise. The biggest thing for you is to cut down to one kind of detergent. I actually recommend the Arm & Hammer liquid detergent that's free of perfume and dye. This way you can wash the baby's clothes and your clothes and Matt's clothes all together if you want. You can use one detergent that's safe and effective for your whole family. I think that using one product will eliminate all of my laundry problems. Here's a great time-saving tip with the dryer. Tennis balls. You know when the sheets and the towels get all lumpy mm -hmm. and they don't dry so quickly? Right. Throw a couple tennis balls in, it will fluff them up, and they'll dry faster. So you're saving energy. And that way you can clear the shelf off, clear this clutter, save time, save money, and sell your house. Fabulous. All right, we've tackled the kitchen, the laundry room, your baby's bathroom. What else can I help you with? I'm just very obsessed with white teeth. I go through packages of teeth whitening strips such as these. All right. And it costs me about $40 every two weeks. That's not cheap. No, it's not. This is really simple. Just take your toothbrush and use the advanced white toothpaste. All right. Okay. By Arm & Hammer. But don't just stop here. Put the whitening booster on. This is gonna whiten your teeth and it's a fraction of the cost. Fantastic. Go for it. If it saves me time and saves me money, then I absolutely wanna have it in my home. You've been such a trooper taking in all this information and we're tweaking the way you do things in your home. So with that in mind, I wanna give you a little reward for yourself. Baking soda is great to exfoliate your face. It makes for a great facial and it's super inexpensive. No kidding. So what I did is I just mixed the paste together. You can do it to your liking. This one is about three tablespoons of baking soda to about a half a cup of water. Okay. You can feel how it's granulated. So it's abrasive enough to get rid of the grime on your face, but it's not too abrasive that it will scratch your skin. Go. Don't be scared of it. The baking soda is <laughs> your friend. Here, smear it on. Do you feel how it's oh, like yes. really exfoliating? Very it gentle. Thank you so much for coming, Jill. It's been incredible for me and my family. Well, I'm so happy to help, and I really hope you sell your house. And good luck with your growing family. Thank you. All right. Well, we know how important it is to save time and money. So for more great tips, go to armandhammer.com. We even have some coupons on there for you. We'll see you next time. Bye. Bye. Those are some great tips. Thanks so much, Jill.